All right, guys, so if you watched the previous video, we we're talking about the, the best purchases or most used gym equipment in the Lions Den located at Colmar PA. So if you're ever in the area, come check it out. It is more of a strength training gym, a garage style gym. Uh, put out tons of kind of, uh, I guess, just gym tour videos along the way. We're basically starting with nothing, and then we're here, a little bit more than nothing, and then hopefully the next video we'll have a lot more than nothing. Uh, but check those videos out to kind of get a feel for what the gym's like and what equipment we have in here. So uh, there were a couple pieces of equipment that I purchased thinking tons of people are gonna use, right? It's gonna make my gym even more legit and a powerhouse in the strength sport world. Uh, and then it turns out that not that many people either uh, used them or didn't know how to use them or they just have been kind of collecting dust uh, for whatever the reason. Some of them don't even make any sense. And I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but the first one I wanna talk about is actually right behind me. Actually, it's kind of a two, two uh, pieces of equipment next to each other. Uh, they're very similar, uh, but not that many people use them. So let's, let's figure it out. And that is right here. The professional water bottle holder, 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 holder. I mean, the reverse hyper. So I thought that if I got the reverse hyper, I would have everybody from Westside leave Ohio and join my gym. But then I found out that it's from Rogue. So they probably are going to because it needs to be a Westside reverse hyper. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but no, that's kind of what I thought. I thought if I wanted to get more power lifters in here. I need to have some more powerlifting equipment. And I knew a lot of people were using reverse hypers in the powerlifting world. Uh, so main reason that people use this, you know, is they say that it decompresses the spine. It's a way to get in a lot of volume to the posterior chain. And uh, just kind of add as, as an accessory to powerlifting. So pick this bad boy up. I thought my whole gym is gonna flock to it. And oddly enough, uh, I would say that there are people that definitely use it, but it's nowhere near as many people as I thought were gonna use it. And it's usually the same people that use it all the time. Uh, now, I just like it because I have it here. So if there are people that join the gym and they wanna use it, we have it. And it's actually a nice marketing tactic if you are a gym owner to say that you have a reverse hyper. Uh, so I think on the flip side, not that many people know how to use it. So that's probably due to my fault for not explaining it as much. Uh, because it is kind of, you look at this and you're like, what the heck is this? Is this a uh, torture device here? Is it going to, you know, separate my upper body and lower body and kind of do the opposite and I may die? I'm not sure. Nobody knows. Uh, but anyway, reverse hyper. So hopefully more people will use it. I'll probably end up after this video putting a video about how to use it for my gym. Now, right here we have uh, our glute ham raise. Okay, so this is kind of used in the same aspect as reverse hyper in terms of muscle groups work. So you have the posterior chain uh, that you're using. And you can also flip the other way and do sit-ups so you're working the anterior chain. Uh, typically more people are gonna be doing, you know, like back extensions, uh, glute ham raises on here than they than I've seen personally doing uh, ab work. And I think if this was in a CrossFit gym, it would be the opposite. Typically in CrossFit gyms, you see people doing tons and tons of, uh, you know, sit-ups on here, the GHG sit-ups that was popularized by CrossFit. Now I will say, um, it has been getting used more, and I think that's because uh, more people have been using it and other people have been watching, and then they've been kind of hopping on and trying it. So I would say between the two, this one is definitely used more than the reverse hyper here in the lion's den. Uh, but, you know, they're both pretty expensive. So in terms of cost, it's gonna be high. In terms of use, kind of in the middle or a little bit on the lower end, but it's just surprising for me, and that's why I wanted to talk about it. Now, if you're someone who absolutely loves these, and you're gonna use them all the time, it's a great purchase for you. But in my gym, I can kind of think about maybe some other things that I could spend equal amount of money on both of these that would get far more use. So that's the first 1.5, two, I don't know, maybe one, uh, coupled together. And then we're gonna go over to the next one, which I think is just, it's just kind of funny in here. It doesn't get used, and we'll talk about it in a second. All right, so the second one here is kind of strange, right? It's this Rogue Power Rack. All right, so I bought this Rogue Power Rack uh, thinking that it was gonna get tons and tons of use. And literally nobody in here even uses it. And I think there's a couple reasons why. I think because it's a little bit smaller. Uh, so for a bigger guy like me, there, there's not much space in there. And it's also not bolted to the floor. So if I bolt it to the floor, I think maybe more people will use it. But this thing was, you know, I think between three and five hundred dollars. Excuse me. Oh, we got the lovely Coach Tani here. Are you um, disrespecting my rack? <laughs> I actually use that rack, guys. All right, all right. Edit, I'm probably edit. the only person that uses that rack. I think, yeah, Coach Tani's correct. She's the only person in this gym that uses this rack. So we do have a purpose for it because we have to keep <laughs> Coach Tanya getting stronger. Right. And here at our Lions Den is part of our, our key, key uh, heart person and, and community leader 
and just uh, the spirit of the dead. So if I got rid of this rack, I get rid of Coach Tanya, and then my business would crumble and fall. So uh, that's pretty, actually, very accurate. But yeah, so it's kind of strange. Like I don't know if it's because it's not bolted to the ground. Like I wonder if it was bolted, more people would use it, uh, or if it's just because of how claustrophobic you feel in here. Like if I were to unrack and like take my walk out, right? I'm, I'm almost like gonna smack into the upright. So you know. Thought it was a great purchase, and I will say literally no one in here besides Coach Tanya uses this power rack whatsoever. So, interesting little feat there. I think every gym kind of has like something similar to that. So if you guys have like a, a weird thing that you think people use all the time and they don't use for whatever reason, uh, put it down in the comment section, so I'd love to hear. So let's go on to uh, our third and final piece of equipment here that is really not used that much. All right, so oddly enough, I have to call Coach Matt behind the camera on this one because he's the only person I think in this gym besides maybe one other person who used it like one time has actually used this uh, piece of equipment as a barbell, okay? So what bar in a gym would not be used often? And like I said, it's kind of strange because I see it popularized in other people's gyms, but in the lion's den, no one is really using it. And that is this camber bar. Look at this thing. It's almost camouflaged to the wall. but. Yeah, this camber bar basically has stayed in this bottom position of this rack for ever since I've had it. Uh, and I would say, let's put some B-roll up, but the only person who has B-roll is gonna be Coach Matt. So we're gonna be watching Coach Matt do camber bar squats. And really it's just a specialty bar, it's just super awkward. Uh, so if you guys are looking for a different variation to use for squats, uh, you're gonna have to really stabilize that weight, which typically is gonna make you go a lot lighter because uh, it kind of swings like a pendulum back and forth. And to be honest with you, I can't say much about it because I've never even used the bar. So, so maybe, actually here, yeah, all right. Chris, Matt, why the heck do you use this bar? There's no like good reason for me to use this bar. I've just liked it. It's a more awkward, awful SSB bar. So like everyone's gonna use this variation is gonna use the SSB bar. And I have the thing where I have to try like every piece of equipment that Joe buys at least once. And I ended up loving that one. So that's all it is. So, so there you guys have it, guys. I can't speak on it, so Matt just gave you the rundown. Just a tougher, more awkward SSB bar that no one in the gym uses besides Matt. I may just keep, well, I guess everything in here is kind of like ours and yours, but I, I would give it to you if I could, so you could have it forever. Like maybe put it above your bed, like SSB morning squats when you wake up. So anyway, that's the, uh, the tale to take. I keep using, <laughs> using that quote lately. I don't know why, I just like it. I used to always hear it in UFC when I would watch UFC back in the early 2000s with uh, Chuck the Iceman Liddell. He looks a little washed up, a little rough these days. I just saw him on a video. Anyway, uh, that's all we got for today, guys. Okay, There may be some more stuff we'll talk about in the future. Hopefully you guys have been watching the videos above with uh, garage gym equipment, uh, the tour of the gym, and then you watched the previous video, which was the most used stuff in my gym, and now we followed up with the least used stuff in the gym. Uh, but as always, guys, we appreciate all your support. A couple ways, other two, or other ways to support us is go to Facebook, The Iron Lions Facebook group, join that group. It's a really cool community. Check it out, totally free. Uh, we have zashrank.net, all of our programs, program templates, coaching, nutrition, uh, apparel, all that kind of stuff. Uh, we have the Patreon, Patreon slash Zatstrength, which just helps us, uh, you know, well, one, uh, support the people that work for me, and then two, we can upgrade our camera equipment, we can get cool guests on, uh, just, you know, upgrade the video quality in general. So, patreon.com slash that strength, and then we have uh, HD Muscle, if you guys like supplements. I really like supplements. Uh, so, go to HD Muscle, use code that strength, and you're gonna get save some money on your supplements. But lastly, I just wanna shout out the guys over at Massonomics, who sent me uh, some apparel, a bunch of stickers, and some banners for my gym. So. Honestly, my gym wasn't legit until I had a Massonomics flag hanging. So now I'm sure members are gonna flock to me like the salmon in a Capistrano. And uh, it says Curls, the original bicep builder. It should say Terror right here for me. But anyway, I thought it was a really great shirt, super comfy. I love how they're kind of doing like parody work uh, off of uh, beer stuff. So anyway, guys, check them out. Shameless plug. I get nothing for that, but I just like their stuff in there. They're good guys. So, Stay on Lean Me Stripe Machine. Catch you guys next time. Peace.